Uh, hi guys, so as you can see I have the 6, 8, 10, 11 parts on the table and all these parts uh, is going for the for the saw, for the Makita saw and it's a blade holder parts and I show you how to assemble it and uh, now we will start from the spring, you can see it have the pin, two pins, two bend the tents and you need to get a and bend that up to the right side of the saw then we have the plastic piece with a hole inside you need to put the spring in a hole just getting everything down now we can put the spring sorry spin the spring and put the pin we need to spin plastic piece clockwise just taking the pin in but not deeply like I did now You're just taking it out and we need a pin only to hold the black plastic piece to not spin around as you can see like that and it's uh, inside here we have the hole and yep, now we need to insert a small tiny spring here then goes the plate holder I'm taking the 2 mm saline key and pressing the holder down until I see the hole of it and I need to get a pin all through the hole and yep I did it you can see how it looks now now goes the plastic piece but I will spin the all the mechanism clockwise till the end and the pin goes up in the both sides that means you are good now we have the two holes here and two holes here we need to align them yep we have the sleeve here and it's have the big hole and the small hole of course we are aligning the holes on the ashi with this ones just put the pin inside the small hole now we have the big hole and we have the spring and we have the pin so spring it's a pin on my other hand just getting the spring on a pin putting it in a bigger hole and you have two pins here you need to align, align that two pins with the holes here on this side Yep, as you can see now everything close closes perfectly and we have the spring holder or I don't know how it calls you just need to wrap it around and push it in the gap yep we have it now we can try to put the blade inside yeah you can see the holes and it, it release the blade it holds release holds and release that's very great for us we did a really annoying job and did that uh, fast well and uh, yeah and on camera i hope that will be helpful for you of course not every person using this tool but honestly when you need to repair it it's uh really hard and uh, and time-consuming job for this tool uh, yep so for now that's all folks and yep as always thank you for watching i really appreciate the thumbs ups and your comments so for now just bye